We are about to enter Holland Skate Plaza, a 10,000 square foot plaza built for non-skaters. And yes, it is this cold. Now this place was originally part of a larger redevelopment. It was gonna be a venue for large social gatherings like concerts and farmer's market. And then the company Suburban Consulting Engineers partnered up with Spawn Ranch and they wanted to build a skate park instead of those other things. Now this is the quote I read from the description of this park. The thought was that the non-skating population would enjoy watching the action. I hate this mask, it keeps covering my mouth. The not skating population would enjoy watching the action as well as appreciate the sculptural nature of the skatable elements. And for skaters, a skate park that doesn't look like a skate park, a truly a dream, what? Rather than feeling like an enclosed space where you are sentenced to ride, it feels like a naturally occurring environment that just so happens to be perfect for skateboarding. So you tell me if this place looks natural or it does look like a skate park. So there's actually not too much to the skate park. When you start off, you have this crazy snake up and down thing. Thing. You see these actually at a lot of skate parks. You have a perfect flat ledge where you can ollie up and actually grind a second ledge. You have a rainbow rail. You have the top of the stage with a slant that leads directly into a manual pad. You actually have two sets of hubbas and these look super fun because they're low and I think the skate park is pretty much symmetrical so both sides you kind of have two of the same obstacle. You have this long down rail that's very mellow. On the side you have this weird obstacle contraption that happens to be at other skate parks in the city. I don't really understand it but it exists. You have this spiky slant on the side that you can actually grind up and down the sides. If you go to the front of the park, you have perfect four stairs with these banks that you can go up. You have these obstacles that I see at parks as well. I don't really get them, but they look pretty fun. And then if you go to the back, you actually have a DIY quarter pipe, something that some of the locals must have built. And then you have a long round ledge behind the whole stage. And I think this is where most people come and just kind of sit. It's about 20 degrees with the wind chill factor. So let's warm up and hopefully I can get into a position where I can take off this mask and maybe these gloves. Woo! <laughs> shelter from the wind this thing right here perfectly hides it as long as I keep myself tied up against it now when checking the reviews for the park I noticed that there was comments similar to this kind of throughout somebody said a little bit sketchy if you're not from the area maybe but I've never had a single problem with anyone here and I would just say that I stick out a bit lol so I guess a few people just thought this area was kind of sketchy but it doesn't look like it at all I don't know maybe there's certain people that were here at the park that made people think that but I feel like it's just kind of a warehouse area I don't know I feel no no danger whatsoever it feels completely safe somebody else says that there are drug addicts and homeless people at the park uh nope never again so i guess right now it's too cold for anyone to come to the park including other skateboarders because it's 10 30 and there's literally nobody else here the goal was to try out each obstacle and of course some of the things were a bit confusing like the first two things on the right i didn't even skate the snake run at all because i really don't know what to do on that thing besides just right up and down it. The pole jam rainbow rail was surprisingly less scary than you think it would be. And I think it's because the very top of it is only about knee high. I just realized that I didn't skate the ledge in the very back or the little quarter pipe. So I will try that in a second and I can give you a full conclusion on what I think of the skate park. But so far, it's perfect. Just minus the elements of nature right now, I'm having a pretty good time. Wow, it just does not slide well at all. Maybe I'll have better luck grinding. Dude, this thing is terrible. Oh, baby. I'm just realizing I think this snake run is actually for this. You up to get speed to go towards this terrible ledge. Ah! And then you technically have enough speed to hit this obstacle right here. So that's kind of cool that they built a way to get around the park. Unfortunately, it's just on my least favorite obstacles here, but 
still very cool for people who are interested in just like woo shooting around. And because I'm a masochist, I'm gonna mess around with a few switch flip variations, like switch flip back 50, just switch flips in general. I've been practicing them a lot recently, so I feel like, you know, I wanna test them today, even though it's windy and there's probably no point. Oh my God, this is such a nightmare. Dude, this weather, I'm sure anyone knows anywhere where it's cold right now, it's almost like not worth trying. Just wait it out. The first couple of switch flip 50s I got into felt awesome. So definitely the switch flips feel good. But of course with the weather, it's just it's just not working. You can't you can't beat the wind. You can't beat the cold. Holy crap, the wind's coming. Literally just flipped my board. That's how cold, windy it is right now. It made my board do a kickflip. It's looking like we're at the point of New York where we have to do all the talking bit indoors so now when i go skate i'll like film the skating but when i skate and try to talk at the same time my hands start freezing my face freezes and skateboarding becomes very difficult so here i am to wrap up this video all in all the whole skate park session was a blur because i was literally just like Ugh, trying to go through my eyes were like pulsating from the wind but it was an amazing skate park i've always wanted to skate there and it feels like i got a concussion or something at the end because of how blurry skating it was but i can i recall it and uh the obstacles are amazing so if you're ever in new jersey holland skate park i think that's what it's called definitely check it out it's a great time and i think the area seems fine so check it out, you know? I'm gonna end this video and I'm gonna keep grinding away and trying to get you guys videos every Tuesday and Thursday. It might be difficult, but at the same time, I think I'm, I'm figuring it out a little bit how to, how to do that. And we're planning our future ahead so that we don't have to uh, deal with things like this as much and it's going to be great. So stay tuned for all the very special news coming your way. And if you wanna watch more skateboarding, we actually upload five videos a week. So two videos on this channel, three on the Progress Daily channel, link in the description down below if you wanna watch more skateboarding during the week. Take care, Progress Daily, and keep killing it.